turned around and just said to myself three times, it's not him, it's not him, it's not him. A family heartbroken at the loss of their father and shocked to find somebody else was in the coffin and about to be buried in his place. It's 6 o'clock. Good evening. I'm Jeff Tianola. And I'm Kelly Day. Now two Washington funeral homes, one in Chehalis and one in Kelso, are being investigated by the state. Jessica Morkert spent the day getting answers. It has been confirmed that my father's been cremated on accident. And my father was terrified of being cremated. Brian Moon says casket, no amount of money could take back the possible. horrifying mistake. When his family opened up the casket at his 72-year-old father's Chehalis funeral, they found a picture of Jerry Moon and a man dressed in his clothes. But as for Moon himself... Yeah, I turned around and just said to myself three times, it's not him. Moon died at Community Home Health and Hospice in Longview on October 13th, the same day a 97-year-old man also died at the home. His body was picked up by Dahl McVicker Funeral Home in Kelso that day. The following day, a body was picked up in Kelso by Brown Mortuary based in Chehalis. Greg Pang with Community Home Health Hospice tells me the home has very specific procedures. Funeral home will present uh, uh, at our facility and then they are personally escorted to the patient room uh, and uh, at that point we identify the patient we give documentation related to the patient to the funeral home and then we have the funeral home sign a log that they have taken the remains. I was hoping to speak to your manager. We called Brown Mortuary and also stopped by Dahl McVicker Funeral Home. The funeral home manager tells us the matter will only be discussed with family. Brown Mortuary in Chehalis released a statement saying that we do not comment on any client families or their specific situations. We believe we have the very best training in the industry and that our policies and procedures are outstanding. However, from time to time, mistakes are made. Made. I have never seen this. I've worked in hospice for 25 years. The family is foremost in our mind, and uh, you know, our heart goes out to the family for sure. State law requires that every body once picked up from its removal site must be marked with the tag just like this. This tag cannot come off until that body is buried. It's unclear if Jerry Moon was ever marked with a tag like this, but Dahl McVicker Funeral Services has admitted that he was cremated. In Longview, Jessica Morkert, Queen 6 News.